It's a wonderful race because the conditions are up and down. And in my experience, uh, well, it's been half and half. half. Half the time you get 25 knots for two-thirds of the race, and half the time you don't. I had a 100-foot uh, boat, Rambler 100, in the 2011 race, and we rounded the rock and dropped the keel, and the boat tipped over, and that was the end of that race. Even though I think we were well on track then, we would have set a record. The boat behind us was Abu Dhabi or Groupama. I can't recall which of the 70s it was, but they went on and got the record. And we were eight to 10 miles ahead of them at the rock, and we certainly would have had the record. So that's why this was a little bit sentimental for me to come back and to go through that same experience, same time of day, within minutes, 5.30 at night, um, same condition, blowing 25 or 30, big lumpy sea. And we thought then at the rock we'd get the record because our route plan said we'd finish probably 6, 7 this morning. And then we ended up VMG running down from Land's End, which has added 40, 50 miles to our track. And that's, that's where the record went away this time. So it would have been nice to, to get the record that we should have had in 2011. And the conditions were almost dead on the same as they were in 2011. It was nice that uh, we had some good communication. Baltimore Lifeboat was on station to say hello. We know those people well. We've been back to Baltimore four or five times since the accident. Uh, I had a good radio telephone call with uh, Valencia Island Marine Search and Rescue. They're the ones that sent the helicopter that picked up Wendy David, my wife, um, and took her to safety. Um, their coordination and support, Baltimore Lifeboat took 16 people off the bottom of the 100-foot boat when it was upside down. There's no doubt that people might not have come back from that race, but for the expertise and devotion of the rescue services, both Valencia Island and also the Irish Coast Guard with Rescue 115 and 117. Those are the two Sikorsky S-61 helicopters they dispatched. And of course, Baltimore Lifeboat too. So we have strong feelings for those people and it's always nice. We communicate with them once or twice a year. Yes, although we've never won it, which is, that's a little disappointing. We, this race, in my experience, typically is a small boat race. Uh, we came close to winning in 2007, the first time we did it. We were second in fleet behind a boat called Chieftain, which was a uh, Cookson 50. Good reaching boat with a good rating. So we missed it then and we, in 2011, we didn't finish. And then, and then in 2015 and 2017, we had slow races where the little boats came in with big breeze, two days lift, we did, and that was the end of that. So we finished very deep. I think we finished like number 300 in 2017. We'll do better this year, because I think the little boats got picked off by the adverse currents at Portland Bill and down at the Lizard. Probably, I think probably one of the 72s will get it, or Wizard. Wizard was sailing very well. We always have lighthearted moments. Can't tell you what they are, and probably they're not repeatable. Not in front of a television camera.